What made you believe in yourself so much you came down here on the street of St. Emmanuel and Walker, downtown Houston, selling your art? What made you give you that, that heart for it, bro? I've always been built with a heart of, of expressing myself lyrically, visually, mentally. No matter what block, no matter what spot, I will be there. Trust me. Just to set my art to express myself to the public so they can see the treasures that I have, as you can say, to bestow them. I have no fear of the, of, of the area that I'm gonna be at. No matter what dark alleys, or no matter what bright alleys, or no matter what spot, if I can, if I can set up, I'm setting up. Now, if you tell me to leave, that's fine. But if you see this beautiful work that I have, you can't tell me to leave. Something is wrong with your brain and your heart when you tell an artist like this to leave. Mm. And what, what, is, what is your creative process? My creative process is what I feel at that particular time if I'm frustrated. The work of my canvas, of, of the metal, of any product that I have, it becomes a punching bag. It's like a punching bag to Tyson, to Ali, to Mayweather. If you're frustrated, you go and you work out. I work out as therapy. It calms my nerves down. If, 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 I'm, feeling, if I'm feeling high, if I'm feeling free, I still paint. You got to understand, art is therapy. It's an emotional expression that you have at all given times that you, that you, that you utilize with whatever piece that you have. So this is my vital moment in life. Whenever I feel frustrated, if I feel sad, if, if, if I feel joyful, I'm going to express myself on this canvas, or on this paper, or on this wood, or on this metal, or with the leaves. Anything that I have, I'll formulate it and become an art piece, a masterpiece. A masterpiece. That's it. I'm a masterpiece walker. You know what? In these days of society, bro, it seems like people are terrified to express themselves. So what type of encouragement would you give that individual to conquer their fear to express themselves? Come on now. Look, let's have free yourself. This planet right here is a damaging planet towards your mind, your body, and your soul. Your mind and your body and your soul is what you have here as an individual. There's a lot of people who are homicidal, they're suicidal, and they're, and, and they're narcissists. There's, there's just so many people out here with different... Look, at the end of the day, it's good and evil. Okay, let me tell you something. When you express yourself artistically, you're releasing a lot of... a lot of... in... in... in cap... cap being in captive. You gotta free yourself, free your mind, free your body, free your soul. We're, we're, we cannot be controlled. You cannot be controlled. Don't let nobody control you. You gotta express yourself as an artist. This guy, it, it comes from you. You're the individual. You put how you feel on whatever you feel. Look at Basquiat, look at the greatest, look at some of the, the biggest artists and the artists who are not even named. You have to understand that being an artist is freedom. This is the highest level of freedom here on this planet, is being an artist in so many different areas. When I say 38 chambers, there are more chambers. Allow yourself to be free, whether if you're a photographer, whether you're a film producer, whether you're a poet, whether you're a magician, whether what, whatever lane that you are, understand that you are an artist in your own lane. So this is the reason why I stress and emphasize on the mindset of being free as being an artist. Got a little detail. Got a little detail. Got a little detail. Yes. Yeah. Express yourself, people. Yeah. I want you to express yourself. Earlier when you were
were speaking, you were saying something about don't have, don't allow no one to have control over you, right? Right. But you know the funny thing about it, sometimes we control ourselves in a way that we don't allow ourselves to flourish. It's fear. That's what it is, it's fear. It's fear. You came here with nothing in your hands. You had no sneakers on your feet. Everything was raw. But what you don't understand is that you had so much in your hands and so much underneath your feet because you had so much in your mind. Your mind controls your hands, your feet, your destiny, be free. Stop controlling yourself unless it's controlling yourself towards what you cannot help with your temple to become an artist. Express yourself and control yourself to become something different. The world control only leads to discipline. That means you discipline yourself only for the positive only for the good, only for the positive energy. There's nothing in this world that can actually exist in a negative realm. So make sure that you positive and control it in a positive way of being an artist, expressing yourself. It's an oxymoron. Control yourself without being controlled. That's all I'm telling you. And you already know that's what's... <laughs> hold on, hold on. Before I end it, and you gotta be, you, I, I think he said it all, but people, man, you can't be so much afraid of yourself, it's time for yourself to shine. And I think I'm ready to shine. Yes. You ready to shine? I've been ready. And that's what's happening. I've what's been happening ready. TV. Groove.